pre-time skip one piece. So most people that you talk to are gonna say that they prefer pre-time skip one piece over post-time skip one piece. Now why is that? There's quite a number of reasons for that. Now just a disclaimer, post-time skip one piece is still not over. That means that I am judging it as it is as of right now versus pre-time skip one piece as a whole, which is sort of an unfair comparison, but that's how it has to be for now. If you prefer post-time skip one piece, then all the power to you. But this video is clearly not targeted at you. So there's no point in you going down into the comments to tell me that, well, I prefer post time skip one piece. I mean, go for it, all the power to you. Now Mystique, pre time skip had way more Mystique because there was so much more that we didn't know about. Leaving a lot for interpretation, imagination, wilder theories to come out because we didn't know much about the universe. There was way less predictability because we had spent less time reading the story. So we didn't know what to predict. We didn't know how Oda wrote the story. Hell, people back then thought that Roger was Luffy's father. Although don't get me wrong, it is sort of understandable as it's a classic protagonist trope in anime. Let's not forget, people thought that Shanks was Luffy's dad back in the pre-time skip. Hell, who would have predicted that Blackbeard and Buggy would be as important as they are today? Blackbeard was just some nameless bum in Jaya, while Buggy, well Buggy is Buggy. Pre-time skip had all the world building that was still being established brand new. It was a fresh universe to explore. So there were constant questions arising in our heads, leading us to be further invested in the story. While in post time skip, we know way more than we did before. Not saying that we're not invested. It's just, you know, in pre time skip, we had our character introductions, our character development. Most of it took place in the pre time skip. Our protagonists were still being introduced one by one and their stories were still being told, at least most of them. Although Sanji had quite a bit in post time skip, so gotta give it that. Our protagonists had more to do. They had more relevance on screen. Look at Usopp and Robin, for example. What has Usopp done since rejoining the crew in Water 7. Robin's only significant character growth moment was in Zo, where Nekomamushi was like, yo, there's all that danger on your head. What are you gonna do about it? And Robin went, I'm gonna trust my crew to protect me. This is in direct opposition to how she was in Water 7, where she left them in fear that they would sell her off and because she didn't want to put them in danger. Besides that, maybe the Black Maria fight? In Nami's case, Nami's only significant character growth moments since Arlong Park were her forgiving how Hachi and Jinbei in Sabaori and Fishman Island for enabling her oppressor Arlong. And I could go on and on about Frankie or Brooke because what did we have with them in regards to character growth since their introductions? And don't get me started on Zoro and all the missed opportunities in Wano. Hell, I would argue that Sanji had more character growth in Wano as opposed to Zoro. Let's not forget character interactions. The pre time skip had a tighter narrative, meaning that there were way less characters to focus on. This kept things more exciting as the arcs were more compact. This also gave us more room for the slice of life character interaction moments that the community loves so much. Now the villains, let's get it out of the way. Doflamingo is in the post time skip and he's arguably the best villain in One Piece. Put that aside however and look at the pre time skip as a whole. I would argue that the pre time skip as a whole had better villains than the post time skip as a whole. Doflamingo is carrying the post time skip. In fact, most villains villains in the pre-time skip had direct ties to the main threat of the story, the world government. Whether it's the warlords or the marines or cypher pole, whatever it may be, they were always directly tied to the world government in one way, shape or form. Taking them down was way more rewarding to the readers as we wanted to see the main oppressors fall. Now the emperors in the post-time skip have done atrocious things, let's be honest, and we get the poneglyphs as a reward for taking them down. However, the world world government, the celestial dragons, all the nasty atrocious things that they've been doing. Deep down, we know that those emperors are pirates just like us. And at the end of the day, they are also being oppressed by the world government, just like us. So taking them down is not as rewarding as taking down world government agents, for example. So I would argue that it is more rewarding to see warlords, government agents, marines get taken down as opposed to pirate empires. While we do get Pona glyphs by taking down pirate empires. Either way, by the end of the day, we're still gonna get to Laugh Tale one way or another. And we know that subconsciously. Now the final point that I would like to make as to why you would prefer pre-time skip over post-time skip is the 90s and early 2000s aesthetic that is very easy on the eyes, very pleasant, very charming. And due to this, pre-time skip is often associated with an earlier point in your life. A time when things were much more simple, where you were either a kid with nothing to worry about, or it's 
simply a period of time in your life that you may currently be longing for. In other words, pre-time skip provides you with that escapism from the reality that you're currently in as opposed to post-time skip. Either way, the mystique and the world building, character development, a tighter narrative, the villains, and the nostalgia. I propose that those are the reasons as to why you prefer pre-time skip One Piece as opposed to post-time skip One Piece. Do you think that those apply to you in your case? Do you not? Let me know how you feel about this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.